Phoenix police were concerned about two officers being exposed to fentanyl during an arrest last night, but today said it was actually cocaine the two officers were exposed to. Clark Kent News reporter Bryce Newberry found out what's being done to protect first responders in the field. This is where two Phoenix police officers were sent to the hospital last night after a possible fentanyl exposure. It's a new reality in the wake of this opioid epidemic that first responders are having to learn how to deal with. The officers were making an arrest at Cactus Park when a white powdery substance believed to be fentanyl went airborne. Yeah, but today, police now. said it was it's actually worse. cocaine. Right. Phoenix police spokesman Tommy Thompson said an officer got dizzy and went to the hospital. Local police departments like Tempe yeah. changing procedures in the midst of the the opioid epidemic. We tell our officers if they come upon a substance that they don't know what it is, some type of white powdery substance, to absolutely leave it alone, package it, make sure the package is sealed, and just send it straight to the uh, DPS lab for analysis. Glendale Police Department telling Cronkite News in a statement, quote, Officers across the country are facing a threat and departments are rushing to provide officers with the training and resources to handle such a dangerous substance as fentanyl. And the National Police Foundation telling Cronkite News, quote, officers face a variety of known and unknown threats simultaneously, making an already difficult job all the more challenging. We FaceTimed with Dr. Andrew Stolbach. His research for the American College of Medical Toxicology addresses safety precautions for first responders. Stolbach telling us, quote, it would be very unlikely for a first responder to get sick from accidental fentanyl exposure because the drug is absorbed very poorly through skin and doesn't go up in the air without help. As a basic precaution, we recommend that first responders wear nitrile gloves and wash off any powder that gets on skin. A mask would be required only in the very unlikely event that there is powder dust in the air. In Phoenix, Bryce Newberry, Cronkite News. The two officers who were exposed are doing well and were released from the hospital.